the English Riviera, Torquay. For over a hundred years, one of Britain's favorite seaside holiday destinations. Home to some of the country's finest hotels. And this one. Excuse me. I am quite concerned I'm gonna have a heart attack if I run that quick, you know? No, for heaven's sake! Oh, Nelly! Welcome back to the Grosvenor. <laughs> Whistle, go! You're not hopping, are you? I'll disqualify you. Still at the helm, manager Mark. People don't have to go abroad for their holiday. We will bring abroad to them. Long-suffering events manager Christian. I think you measure up very nicely, to be honest. He belittles me once more. He can shove the hotel up his arse. And unflappable reservations manager Alison. Beam me up, Scotty. No, that's what we're doing. No, we're not. No, we are. No, we're not. Yes, we are. I'm not doing it. Like the rest of Britain, the Grosvenor is fighting the recession. The global credit crunch wasn't my fault. <laughs> I was hoping that doing that, an idea would appear. And, of course, manager Mark's come up with a plan. I'm going to go for the more upmarket guests. Guests with money to spend. All these posh people are going to come through the door expecting the Ritz. What are they going to say? I'm appalled by some of the things I see. One can't see very well. <laughs> We've got the name, the Grosvenor. It sounds posh. You don't pronounce the S. Grosvenor. No. no. The, the silent, silent S. S. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Want a nice bed and breakfast, sir? Yes, sir. Checking in. Yes. Check the family. The summer season is well underway, and manager Mark has a new idea to get customers through the door. Yes, hello. Um, it's Mark here, phoning from the Grosvenor in Torquay. Um, we're putting on a special night going to India. I just wondered, have you got any sort of costumes that would suit that sort of thing? I, I need to look sort of Indian in a, in a Bollywood style. Yeah. So, like a long, skirty thing with a turban, really. Yeah, yeah no, a red, red Indians won't work. This is India as opposed to cowboys and Indians. All right, listen, thank you very much. I've got to go. OK, bye, bye. We're giving people a new experience. You, you pay to come to Devon, and you also get Delhi for the same price. It's like two holidays in one. Indian Night will showcase local performers, including a Bollywood dance troupe. But the highlight will be an Indian banquet. If you're in India, how would it normally be done? Muligatoni soup, that's basically Indian soup. OK. And one starter, onion bhajis. Right, OK. And we're going to do lamb kofta. This right? is great for you. It's a chance for you to cook for real. <laughs> no, that's all right. <laughs> Chef Paul has worked at the Grosvenor for four years. He and his family came to Torquay in 2005. The first time I heard Torquay was uh, when my wife came. She's a trained nurse and she said it's a very small place, very far from uh, the Heathrow Airport. So what, what are we doing for sweets? What do they have? Yeah, sweets. Uh, going to make a sweet from carrots. Like... Carrots for pudding? Yeah, yeah, but it's really sweet. You know, when you Is cook that it? it? Yeah, this is very nice. I was born and brought up in uh, Cochin, in Kerala, in India. Cochin is a nice place. The weather is very nice. And Tokis is also very nice to live, apart from weather. Carrots for sweets. Yeah. yeah. That's what, that's I'll make it, then you do. No, 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 it's fine. Yeah, I yeah. can't eat carrots. But, yeah, no, I, 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 no, brilliant. I love it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We need to go and get Indian stuff. Right. Can you drive us, please? Where's the fancy dress shop? It's only New Nabba. New Nabba? Uh, that's six miles. You can walk it. Well, let's walk it then. No, please, can we have a lift? We need to go now, cos we're in a hurry. Yeah, all right. All right, OK. All I'm right, ready. thanks. Right, let's go. I'll tell you something, I ain't wearing no sorry. She can well, no, we need to dress you sensible so you're comfortable. Of course we do. I'm not going to be comfortable wearing a sari, am right, I? Well, we're going to sort something out. What have you got at home? Have you got anything brightly coloured that sheets. we can dress out? I ain't getting in no back. Ow, I've caught my leg. Wait a minute. I'm trying to get... <laughs> go, 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 go. 
I'll tell you something, this is nuts. The whole thing is just nuts again. Have you ever been to India? No. Not on a Monday night, no. <laughs> Hello, the French family. We get one family room and one single room. That's right, yeah. four for Luke here. Over there. Andrew French is turning 50 this week. For a birthday treat, he's brought his family on holiday. Wife Eleanor and three sons. Seven-year-old Oliver, 13-year-old Elliot and 20-year-old Luke. OK, there we go, young man. There's your key there. Thank you. That's how it's up ahead of us. That's, this one's a nice size. Wow. Complete with four posts of bed here, look. What about Luke? Where, where can he sleep? He's got room. his own room. Ah. Luke was diagnosed with autism when he was four. It's the first time he's ever had his own hotel room. Push it. Quite a major part of this holiday is helping Luke to become more independent. Oh, wow. Well, Hang on a second. Look, He's got a balcony. Oh, right. Lucas has got a balcony. It's part of a natural process, isn't it? It's something that every parent has to be prepared for, and I, I want to see my son, you know, achieve that. Right, so you can put your underwear in um, drawers. You've got drawers, look. Shirts you can hang up. Come yeah. down when you finish them. And I would do anything for you. To have my own room, it's good, yes. You know, so I can think about what I'm doing, you know, without getting stressed. Let me just take these. We did go through hell, really, when he was quite young. Um, yeah, it is hard. Um, it was a, a lot to deal with. But where his parents? And it's been a pleasure. That's it. Hello. 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 You're right. Alison, couldn't you wear that and then we could then put an extra bit of material around, like a sari, yeah. like a part sari, to dress it up? You're loving it, aren't you? And it goes around my bits. It's going to be packed. Yeah, you look like an Indian. La, 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 you la, la, do. La, la, la. Have you got any of those, like, jewelly things? Yeah, she, have you got a red dot? Can I go with Cher? <laughs> um, I need some face paint. Cos the problem with me is I don't go out and get a tan, so I need, um... I've got brown here. Yeah, OK. That's brown. And, what, and what's that one? That's black. All right, OK. Well, I'll, I'll get both, cos I don't know what colour I need until right. I put it on. Okay. Alison, look. Right, here we are. Right, stay there. OK, see? Perfect. See? And you're done. Perfect. OK, so that's one Indian. Can I pay you tomorrow yes, when we yes. do the rent? Cos I haven't got any money with me. <laughs> See, I told you I'd black it. <laughs> Mano Where am I going to find more Indian people? People? Yes. You've been on the internet looking for people. Well, that's what they have the internet for, you know? With just two days to Indian night, Mark is targeting well-heeled, influential Indians and inviting them for free. Um, it's Mark Jenkins here, phoning from uh, the Grosvenor Hotel. We're putting on a very special Indian night. Indian communities could be really good for business. They've got great big families, you know, they all talk to each other. And, and once you're in with them, you're in. I'm sorry to disturb you. Would you be interested in coming along to our Indian night? Oh, hello. My name's Mark Jenkins, phoning from the Grosvenor Hotel in Torquay. No, not Turkey. Torquay in, in Devon. Oh, hello. Is that, is that um, D D Dibna? Yes, hello. Hello. We're putting on a very special around-the-world sort of Indian night. We've got, you know, wonderful food and, and sort of entertainment for the evening. Would you be interested in coming along? It'd be great to see you. And, and, and the more you can get together, the, the more the merrier. Thank you very much. OK. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> right, listen. I've got a brilliant idea. So, seriously, when they come to the hotel, it's like a mini adventure, like a cruise ship, like they're getting on a cruise ship, like HMS Grosvenor. Uh, are you mental? So I want the reception staff to wear 
nautical clothes. I am not dressing the staff to look like bloody Popeye. We can take them to India. I've right? got to go. I can't cope with this much longer. It's like being in an asylum. No, no, no. no. Yeah, hello. When the guests hello. come in. Come and get me. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I've just got to have that theme. Beam me up, Scotty. No, that's what we're doing. No, we're not. No, we aren't. I think at this point, Mark would possibly try anything to get some people and some money into the hotel. He'd probably just go naked, to be honest, just to get guests in. But I don't think that'd get any guests in, to be honest. I think that they'd just be out in their droves. <laughs> Ready? Go. What am I wearing? On like you're wearing a sailor outfit. I've got a nice little white... Yeah, but I've seen your version of nice with them turbans you've got in there, <laughs> and they're not nice. Can I come with Snow White, please? Might want me. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll go down well when I black my face up. <laughs> you're not allowed to do that anymore, Mark. Of course you are. No, you're not. That was a stupid. No, you're not. You're not allowed yes, to you do that. Yes, you are. I thought Why? They... Why can't... What do you mean they stopped you? I thought they stopped all that. Stopped what? Black, the black and white minstrel Why can't stopped? you have the black and white minstrel show? Because you're not I like to. a million miles for one of your smiles. Mommy. Why is that racist? People found it offensive, didn't they? So, if you go Irish dancing, is that offensive to Irish people? Probably if you get it wrong, totally wrong, yeah. <laughs> now, is that the right way? I always get confused with the Union Jack. Yeah, the, um, OK, you have the fat white on the top left. Right, OK. In preparation for this evening's Indian night, the staff need to dress the hotel as a cruise ship. Um, right. We need to, um, put something in there, OK, that says SS Grosvenor. No, that says SOS Bloody Grosvenor. <laughs> Nautical stuff. We've got a hat to put on, apparently. Really? Yeah, because we're a ship. Oh, they're not white and blue. They're, they're... Yeah. They don't look nothing like sailor outfits. Mark, what do you expect? You wanted something cheap. You said you wanted something blue and white. It doesn't look like a sailor outfit. Well, what's a sailor outfit, then? Honestly. Uh, do you know how rude some people are? <laughs> OK, now you look a bit like a sailor. Mark's first invited Indian guests arrive. Dipna Anand and her father Gulu have taken up the offer of a freebie to the event. They're well-connected restaurateurs. Do you have people with luggage in there first? Yeah, let's just check in first. Hello. Hi there. Hi. We're just in? checking in, yeah. yes. Welcome to the Grosvenor Hotel. Thank We've just you. ordered um, the <laughs> SS Grosvenor. <laughs> right, yes. I'm, I'm trying to explain the outfit. <laughs> OK. <laughs> yeah, you, you are probably... Oh, right, so I see where this comes. It is, yes. Oh, right. Sounds okay. exciting. Are you all right with your luggage? Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah we'll just, just get it out. I'll just park my car right outside here. That's fine. Up the stairs. As Indians, we're quite good at passing on information. If an Indian family come, they're going to go and tell the rest of their family, which is not just five or six people, it's usually five or six hundred people. And once we know about a place, then we rinse that place and go again and again and again. Oh, it's quite big. That's OK, it's big. Yeah. Have I got a sea view? Oh, I can see the sea. This room looks good, isn't it? Yeah. The one. I think my, my room's going to be a back of you. Let me just put this luggage in my room. Mum, we're in Torquay. I hope Dad's going to be all right, because he's not really used to like, this kind of hotels. Yeah, it looks pretty clean. I'm just having a look now. Oh, my God, I just found an ant. There's an ant in my room. There's a spider in my pillow. I've just lifted it up. Wait, wait. All right, I'm going to take a picture. I'll call you back. Where? Where did you see it? It's only a little one, but it's inside the pillar. It's in there. There was a spider in there? Yeah, it's just like a little ant thing. Can you see it? I've taken a picture of it. The relationship that I share with my dad is very special. Whenever I'm in a difficult situation, I just call my dad. Oh, it's a bug. I'm 
I'm telling you, I'm not sleeping with that. What? Oh, just, just leave it in there, all right? And just go and give it to reception. I definitely think I'm Dad's princess. Uh, I'm not uh, ashamed of saying he has spoilt me. Oh, my God, there's a fly here as well. You're bound to find the flies. I found a little bug in my pillow. It was inside the pillow. It was just little, but still, I just thought... No, I'm going to go and have a look at that, if that's all right. Have you got your key on you, lovely? Yeah, I've put the pillowcase we'll back. We'll, we'll take it out and get yeah, you a fresh one. Yeah, because I'm really... Yeah. There won't be any more. No, 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 no. I'm just going to go... I'm just really scared, scared of there. Don't worry. No, I'll go and check that yeah, now anyway, thanks. and we'll, right. we'll get your new pillow in. All right, all our stuff is in there anyway, yeah? OK, OK. Thank you. Thanks. Hello, this is Karen at the Grosvenor Hotel. Um, I wonder if you can possibly send somebody out ASAP to us? It's to do with the beds. It's a major problem. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bed bugs in 14. Oh, not again. Right, we've got a sitch. Something <laughs> unheard of here. Somebody has bought bed bugs in on their luggage. I know. People bring no, them no, in I've on seen their leaflets. clothes I know. Yeah, and their luggage and stuff. They don't start here. They don't, if, know, they don't start they from don't. nothing. They're not because it's dirty. Of course they don't, but obviously it's a bit of a sitch. <sighs> if I knew that there was like a beach here, we wouldn't even have to go and hold your dad. Answer your phone. Now. Yeah, I'll answer it. Do we go on that bridge? Yeah, we'll go. This looks on. so nice, man. Right, let me take some pictures. Why don't you run on the beach? See? Yeah, right. Baywatch, England. <laughs> Dipna, being the first child in the family, she's always been very, very special. I've waited for nearly six years before she arrived. <laughs> and yes. The feeling which came into our hearts and our mind is indescribable. Dad, you haven't got flip-flops, so I didn't know no, what you No, so you, you go in there. Yeah, but calm down, isn't it? I'm not going to go with my shoes. Oh, please, I won't. just calm, Dad. It's all right. Your feet aren't going to get messed up. Just calm. You sure? Yeah, it's fine. It's hard. OK, I may as well. I can say whatever I want to my dad, but he will never, like, tell me off. You should have bought your swimming costume. Go back and get it. If I ever try doing that with my mum, it's game over. She'll, she'll, <laughs> she'll slaughter me. I could just go in there like that. Go do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dare me to do it. I dare oh. you. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. There's no Indians here. Right, spot the Indian. Come on. In Southall, it's like spot the white person. Here, it's like spot the Indian. <laughs> We're the yeah. only Indians here, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, we need to have a corner shop somewhere. Then we'll attract those people in there. Hey, look, there's Indians. Hey, the wood's spreading already. <laughs> right. Where's my mug? No, I haven't seen it. Who has touched my Talk United mug? Where is it? No idea. I'll tell you something. If I don't get that mug back, I'm going to go nuts. Where is the mug? Tom, have you seen my mug? Are you winding me up, you lot? No, I'm not. No. i tell you something, you better find that mug. Look at me, I haven't well, touched your mug. I haven't been here for one day and the mug's gone missing. I haven't touched your mug. Yes, you have. No, you, for some more, you better scour the hotel for it, cos I'm going to go nuts if I don't get that mug. Don't laugh. I'm not laughing. I've never met anybody like Alison. I mean, I wouldn't let anybody talk to me the way that Alison talks to me. Even my previous wives haven't spoken to me like that. You just can't leave nothing here, can you? I mean... The fact that it says Talk United Don't. massively cuts down the suspects. Let's be honest. I tell you, I do love a, a I'm just member saying, of staff. Um, it says Talk. You haven't looked very far, have you? Somebody's put it on there on purpose. Oh, no, they probably just moved it out of the way. The mug has the mug has turned up. Sorry, which the mug? Which? Thank you. Nobody would steal that. No, Look yes at it. they would. What do you mean? That's it. No, and I've nothing to do with you. Look at you. Mug has turned up. The mug is here. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's right. It, it, do, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter when we've got any bookings, but we've got a bloody mug. Yeah, good. At least it keeps me happy. No. I mean the bubble bath. Has uh, got any bubble bath? Um, I'll take that up and put some in. Dad, 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 Dad. 
Don't pull the swimming out and then bring it back down. Got him. Well, there he goes. Have you filled your bath? Yeah. Uh, right, I think you probably want a bit more in there now. I've only just started. Oh, ouch! That's that's scalding, son. Hang on. Is it? You just need to um, put your hand in and just see that it's cold enough before you get yeah, in. That's what I usually do, yeah. yeah, sorry. I probably interrupted you doing it. I wouldn't forget to put some cold in it. All right, then. I'll leave you to it, OK? To be honest, I underestimated him. And I was pleased that he pulled me up about it because he is actually learning to be assertive. Who do you reckon is my mug? No one nicked it, they just moved it. Mm. I'll tell you something, when I seen it wasn't there, I know it's only a mug, but I was really like <sighs> getting wound up, yeah. I don't have sugar nuts, I brought sugar up for you. Mm. Thanks. You're welcome. Mm -mm -mm. My lovely. Are you? You're going into room one, which is just down the bottom of the stairs. Well, what about my dad? No, he's, he's, just, he's just at the bottom of the stairs. Oh. Literally just at the I can't keep you in this room. I found another one. Behind yes, bed. and I'm not I'm gonna This is a bug infested room. Yes. Oh wow, this is nice. I like this room. Are you happy? Yeah. Oh my god, dad's gonna be so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> There's no bugs in this one. Nothing. All nothing right. at all. Thank you. All right. How are things? Don't ask. Right, well, if I tell you, are, you said don't ask. Just couldn't get to sleep the last couple of nights. Not going to sleep. Mm, join the so. club. Mark's mum, Stella, checks up on her son at least once a week. Are you right? Yeah. They probably don't even work here. They've probably got a van outside. It's the bailiffs. <laughs> <laughs> the bailiffs can take collecting the chairs. <laughs> the barbecue, you're having a laugh, aren't you? What's happened? We're supposed to be having a bonfire down there. Hang on. He's still pouring petrol on it. Who's pouring petrol still on pouring it? pouring petrol on it. Oh. Stop! Don't put any more petrol on it. It can catch fire and come back to you. Honestly, that's really dangerous. You don't continue to pour petrol on something once you've lit it. You may have needed then to throw someone in the pool. <laughs> it isn't funny. It's, it's a nightmare. What lunatic in their right mind... <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're right. Are you okay? Yeah. All right then. The barbecue is well and truly lit down there. The food's coming out. Oh, yeah. Just, just in time. On fire, including the chef. Oh, well, <laughs> not funny. <laughs> oh God, I can't do this anymore. I tell you. Tea, please. English tea. Um, do you have fresh orange juice? Yes. Just juice. Just, no, no coffee, no tea. No, thank you. Okay, thanks. Pest control has arrived to deal with the suspected bed bugs in room 14. Would they just be go, go on your person, or what happens? They usually when when you're sleeping. Oh, you don't want to know, do you? Uh, I do. Just just tell me. Go they on. come out and all they live off is blood. Oh, so they suck your blood. 
Hello? Oh, Matt. Have we found anything? I haven't. You haven't? No. See, the lady that found it, she, she took a photograph. Right. I, I, I think we should have a look at a picture. Yes. Because if, if it is, then it is. But if it isn't, then uh, it isn't. <laughs> can, I, can I go on your computer? Sorry, I need to open my email. What are you doing? Oh. It just looks like a little black money spider. I can't zoom it anymore because it'll just... It's got legs. It's a tiny little spider, that's all it is. You got a picture of a bed bug there? Um, yeah, I'm just looking for a poster. I've got a poster here somewhere. But, but yeah. it's... <sighs> Common pest. You should be on that, Mark. Mm, very difficult to tell because, to me, the legs look a bit long. That's what I mean. It's got legs. Spider? Well, they do have legs. Yeah, but, but, they're, but they're tiny little... In, in li little thing legs, aren't they? Then I don't think it is. The people staying in the room were millionaires. It's probably a money spider they bought with them. Tonight we're turning into little India. Yeah. How exciting. In you come, you're all welcome. The day's arrived when Mark is taking his guests to India. We got a booking for Manojoshi. We're, we're going to do a 16 here. Brilliant. Mark's laying on entertainment for the guests, and for those who don't like Indian food, there's fish and chips on the menu. We might need a few extra fish, OK? I hope everybody go for the curries instead of fish and chips. We're doing a table of 16, OK? It's an extra 16. You said you could go to 100. We're going to test it. Today, I'm very proud to be an Indian, to be cooking in front of all those people, and I, I'm very happy and looking forward to that. Right, Lucas. You getting off then? Yes, I am. Right, OK. Luke's setting out on a shopping trip, the first time he's ever done so on his own in an unfamiliar place. You've not got your mobile phone with you, have you? No, I haven't. Do you want to borrow mine? OK, if you get any problems, just give us a ring, yeah? Yeah. We are in strange territory to him, and he has been known to have panic attacks, so we have to be very careful. Right, so you've got everything, you've got your wallet? Yes, I have got my wallet. Good. Right then, off you go. Confidence is a fragile thing with him. We, we're trying to build it up, but yeah. it can't be... We, we, it can we, we, easily be just brought back down again, you know, you know just one knock. Yeah, um, but we won't give up. No, we keep won't trying. Give up. Right, see you later, dude. See you later, have a good time. Uh, yeah. He'll be OK, won't you, do you think? Yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah. Oh. He's, yeah. he's, got to, he's got to do it sometime. My dad's going to be 50, so I'm going to buy him a birthday present. It's half a century, and and the classic as well a milestone. Yeah, he looks younger actually, like in his mid to late thirties, really. I think, yeah. It's a nice one. It's you see, it's got blue on it, and it's gold, I think. Yeah. Hello, I well, have well, come to buy right, this. Have that, one. that will be five pounds, then, please. Yeah, at the twenty. Thank you. Very happy with what I've bought. My dad likes watches, so it'll be a good present for him. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm uh, How are you? Mark Jenkins, the How owner of the hotel. Hello. How are you? I'm very well, thank good, you. Good, good. Well, welcome to the Grosvenor. This is for our meal. Okay. And uh, obviously our entertainment that we're doing later Thanks on. Very much. So, um, okay, good. We're well, that, very much looking forward to this. No. Yeah, it all seems no. very exciting. So, is that your car outside? It is. It's not blocking your door, is it? He's been gone. No, I'm, I'm just. No, no. I had to park it right Listen, out. 
it'll be quite safe out there because mm. um, and, until recently I had my Bentley out there. Okay. We and need then... to put on a good show for you tonight, then, don't no, we? No, we're uh, looking forward right. to it. I'm sure you will. Right. Wonderful. I'm All right, sure we'll see you, you shortly. All, All right, thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Dad, shall I wear this or shall I just wear normal? No, this is good. Sure? This is good, yeah. Colours. India. My dad wants to get me married and I'm being quite fussy in the kind of guy that I want. I think my dad is f looking for a guy for me who is like him. My dad doesn't drink or smoke. You know, might as well marry a priest. <laughs> wait. You know what? Wait for me now, one minute. I just want to put this top on underneath. They've planned my catering for my wedding, the menu. They've planned the photographer. They've planned the DJ. I think he's already confirmed the venue. <laughs> we just have to find a husband now. All right, I'll really be ready in two minutes. I'm looking forward to the day where Dipna will get married. This is the father's dream, but uh, being so close to her, it's going to be the hardest moment, I think, in my life. For turban.com. My hair? Yeah. It's okay. an hour to do this, my hair? Really? Uh, well, it won't take an hour not to do it. Just put it on your head. And I haven't even got change yet. It actually looks like you've had an accident. Just make sure to wear anything on her face. I've got to wear this gear. Look at me. Oh, Dad, this is the best thing ever. You need to hurry up, Christian. Seriously. All right, Alison, you're going to have to host the meal then. What do you mean? I'm not. I don't know what you're talking about. You're going to have to just go downstairs and be. No, Mark, I'm not doing it on my own. You can't expect me to. I don't even know what I'm doing. Hello. <laughs> Woman, Lewis. Lewis. Rice, please. Oh my God. <laughs> The first night of going around the world to India, and these two are just off powdering their bloody noses. Christian's just getting taken 40 minutes to dress up. Mark's just gone off and left me. When was the last time I ever came in the restaurant? You know, it's I, know. A buff I haven't got a clue. It's quite strange that both of them have got this thing about putting on makeup. Excuse me. Would you like I, to tell me something? No, I was just getting into character. What, for two hours? Hello, sir. What would you like to order? What would you like? Would you like to have some curry or fish and chips? <laughs> See, it look, looks like fish and chips. OK, hands up if you are going for fish and chips. And then we'll tell you how many. I think we'll all okay. go for fish and chips. OK, 16 please. fish and chips. Yes, please. OK, yep. we'll be doing that. Thank you. <laughs> 16 fish and chips you want? So are you telling me that they don't want no Indian food, they just want fish and chips? Yes. Why are they here, then? Are you having a laugh? Just have to get on with it then, right? Here we go. Yeah, I don't really like this. My God, that looks like scrambled eggs to me. I don't know. Why? 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 Why am I here? Where's my mushy peas? Can I? Can I have some? Do you need more fish? Excuse me. Yeah. I'm going to cry. No, don't. Thank you very much. You get better food in the supermarkets, prepacked, than this. Are you having a laugh? What? I'll tell you something. I can't believe I've got to stand down here and do this. I ain't done this for nine years. I'm sweating like a fat bird at a rave. Yeah. <laughs> Not being funny. I've got people out there. It's a nightmare. On my own. Nice moves. So who cooked this? Uh, the chef up there. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, Paul. Paul? Yeah. Could I see him? I've got some guests that want to speak to you. Oh. They weren't that happy about the food. So they're not going to, like, kick off or anything, but they just want to have a quick word with you. Oh, some... why? I don't know. Well, why do don't... I? I don't know. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't think they're going to have a go at you. I think it's going to be constructive criticism. I, I really want to talk to don't want to talk to them. I felt very bad after working long hours, cooking everything, when suddenly two people say they are not happy. I felt uh, 
really, really bad. I must apologise, you know. No problem. OK, I'm so sorry. Is there anything else I can get you? No, we're great. OK. When is the entertainment? The entertainment is upstairs. It starts at about 8.30, 9 o'clock. And hopefully you'll enjoy that. All It'll right. be a bit of fun. OK. That's busy. Clarice. What's all this, then? I just think I'd forgotten. <laughs> all right. <laughs> the Frenchies are having their own celebration for Andrew's birthday in the residence dining room. Oh, can I start opening them, then? Um, right, do you want to open that one first? Yeah, That's I'll start with there. this one, then. What's this, then? Oh, is it like a big 50 mug, is it? <laughs> <laughs> to get back to my youth, I would do anything in the world except take exercise. <laughs> From Elite oh. and Oliver. Yeah. All right, thanks, boys. Yep, excellent. I want my bread. All right, okay. Made, made especially for me that. As we get older, you know, we worry more about Luke's future. Not for a while yet, but you know, when when you're gone, what what's going to happen? How Luke's going to cope? I suppose reaching 50 sort of brings that home to you. But, oh, this is uh, Luke. Luke's Luke's got me this. Ah, watch. God, look at that. That's brilliant. Thanks, that, that, um, yeah. My man. Um, yeah. I know it's the age everyone wants to be 50. Is it? Yeah. Nah, you don't want to be 50, son. Practice saying, God, you're 50. I can't believe it. You don't look it. Well, you do no. look it. I was very touched that Luke actually remembered. It's the first time that Luke's actually gone out, thought about what I've wanted and bought me something. The sort of tears are welling up almost, but uh, you know, it's, it, it is nice. Happy birthday. Oh! <laughs> I think I have a birthday then, Happy yeah. birthday to, to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear dad. Happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you. Go out then. Right, I'll give you my best shot. Hey. Autism affects the way a person communicates and it can affect them socially. Mind you, I know I'm um, slightly more able than some of them, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hiya. Oh, no. yeah, maybe it's fine. What the hell have you done? What? There's no way you can go out looking like that. You can't do that. I don't look any different than he looks. You normally. can't do that. Of course you can. It I must. look stupid you otherwise. Can't. It doesn't look right otherwise. Well, how comes I haven't got it on then? Well, you've got a tan. You've been on holiday. Yeah, I haven't been on holiday for years. You don't look as if you've been on holiday. You look like you haven't washed. Excuse me, how are you, rude. Are you... are you going in the bath? Oh, yeah. What? Put a turban on. You look stupid without one. Mark, your lips are like white. <coughs> your teeth are so white they're dazzling my eyes, right? And I'm not being funny, you've gone way, way over the top. It's not, it's just a bit of... It, Why, gives, look. it gives the character. It's if I it. lived in India... Well, you don't. I'd be this colour. You wouldn't have those ridiculous massive shoes on either. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. And a very warm welcome to Sunny Torquay. Hooray! Actually, no, that's wrong. We're not in Torquay at all. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in India. Hooray! <laughs> and India is even sunnier than Torquay, apparently. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Give them a nice warm welcome. It's just June. <laughs> Just you. Hmm? Just you. Yeah, ho. Yeah, ho. Despite all the nightmare that's going on financially and behind the scenes, when I see a room full of people enjoying themselves, that's what keeps me going. Yeah, ho. I don't know whether Mark was trying to portray being an Indian with his 
face makeup. It, it just looked like it come from under the sunbed or something <laughs> like that, as opposed to being an Indian. I don't find that offensive that he had makeup on. Manoj, would just like to have a quick word, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hello, my name is Manoj Joshi and I'm from Plymouth. And uh, I was talking with uh, Mark. He had done so much things about the India. So I would like everybody, if you can stand up and we can do the Independent Day of the India. Thank you. I can honestly say that India 100% is on the map. That's in the itinerary. So it's been a great night. So thank you all for coming anyway. Thank you very much. Okay. And now I'm going to hand you over to the one and only Mr. Eddie Edrick. Hooray! Yay! Yes, yeah, we've got quite a lot of family rooms. Some of them are actually suite rooms, so you've got a room off of a room. Mark's plan to get bookings from the Asian community is having a quicker effect than even he had expected. Uh, that's fine. No, no, if, we, if we've got that, we'd be happy to do that. No, 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 but no, that'd be wonderful. We've got some more visitors coming over, and we, we see if we can put... Oh, wonderful. Yeah. No, 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 it'd be my pleasure to put them okay. up. You know, I'd, well, you, you know I'd look after them, you know, genuinely so. Thank you. All right, good night, then. Good see you night, soon. Yeah, good night. Good night. Even though the food wasn't up to the mark, wasn't spot on, like, at least they tried. If they keep doing it more and more, then they'll improve, isn't it? Yeah. OK, I'm going to go now. Goodbye and yeah. good night. Let me sleep. OK, bye. Bye-bye. Talking all over the world. So you don't just get fried eggs? Oh, you get bacon, you get sausages, you get all sorts. Mm, toast as well. As I mm. understand it. Toast? I'm liking this hotel. I want to stay here forever. Be careful, the plates are really hard. Okay, thank you. I'd come back for the breakfast. I'd come back for the breakfast. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Hi. Paul, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Oh, good. Is it everything all right, or you want...? Uh, yeah, it looks great. But you don't sort of the food which I No, no, I don't cook Indian food too much, you know. Oh really? No, no, just what I do at home, that's all. But you could yeah. you could get better with your Indian if they were having regular Indian nights. Here. No, they don't do it. Just first time they did yeah. here in uh, six years. I'm here like four years. Oh and it's the first night right. they didn't, yeah. Well the yeah, breakfast is really good, really good. Thank you very much, thank yeah, you. Nice people. Good morning. Yeah. Did you enjoy last night? Yeah, well, yeah, it was a wonderful evening. Good, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. Uh, Hiya. Hi. Just checking out, then. So you, you're on your way, then? Yeah, we, we are, are indeed. Well. You're on your yeah. way? Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Wonderful. Have you enjoyed it? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's, it's been, been all right. Wonderful. Listen, have a safe journey home, and yes, uh, thank you. We'll, we'll see you again. OK, thanks All right, thank you very much. You. OK, you. cheerio, then. OK, thank then. You. Brilliant. OK, Bye. see you Bye. soon. Bye. Take care. I can see a better future for Luke. It's starting to come together for him. He is going to have good experiences and he is able to go out into the world and um, do things in his own right without us being there to hold his hand.
Hello, all right. Fine. Are you en route, are you? Hi, we are. We certainly enjoyed ourselves. Good, thank you Fantastic. so much. Fantastic. When you were in London side, yep. come down and visit us. I will do, can't wait. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, thank you. I'll come and wave you off and make sure you get out, all right? Sure. Yeah. For the amount of instant feedback and, and new business inquiries, the Indian night has been the most successful night that I've ever done at the Grosvenor. And the business that's going to come from it, I, I, I just hope it's going to be enough. Can I, can I just sit in it? Yes, yes. Just, just uh, hang come on. In, just, come in. Yeah, just... Uh... <sighs> Why don't you drive down? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's OK. It only works for me in red. All right, cheers. OK, bye-bye right. well, then. Thank you. Thank you. OK. Next time on The Hotel. People are frightened to say stuff to Christian because they think he's going to have an issy fit and walk out. Do you know what? Communication in this place is <laughs> Don't tell me what I'm working. What do you mean? This is a job. Surely anybody tells yeah, anybody what they're me. working. Oh, someone's been to Sharofsky. Part of the future of this hotel rests on your shoulders. We've offered duck a l'orange when it's all free. I know. Christian is going to have to shape up or ship out. Oh! You're looking at me all surprised. I'm not making any of this up. You can have my notice. I'm being stitched up here. There's support online for any issues relating to autism at channel4.com slash the hotel. Next, will Mark Wahlberg fight his way to the top in spite of a pesky Christian Bale? Find out in the network premiere of The Fighter. <laughs>